Hi, I bet you didn't know that the Leyland Museum is home to an actual mermaid. No, no, I'm being serious. We really do have a mermaid here. My name is Carly and I'm an intern here at the Leyland this summer and I am obsessed with mermaids. From the first time I walked through these doors, I knew that this would be my favorite artifact here in the museum and she definitely is. Let me tell you a little bit more about her. Mr. Leyland, the namesake of our beautiful museum, was a plumber here in Cleburne. He would spend nine months out of the year working in his plumbing store and the other three months of the year he would travel the world and then return with all kinds of beautiful artifacts, gizmos, and gadgets. On one of these trips, he went to the island of Java and returned to Cleburne with the mummified body of a Javanese mermaid. She's still here on display in the fishbowl he kept her in. Our older Cleburne residents like to tell us that they would visit the plumbing store with their parents and their parents would tell them, go look at Mr. Leyland's museum while they spent time with the plumber. Some of those people have told us they remember this mermaid here wearing a little skirt, which unfortunately is now lost, but we still have the mermaid and she's in her original fishbowl that Mr. Leyland would keep her in. Sure, she isn't the singing beauty that we tend to think of when we think of mermaids, but where did she come from? <clears throat> Mermaids like our Javanese mermaid were popular souvenirs amongst tourists returning from the South Pacific in the 1800s. In fact, one such specimen even made its way into P.T. Barnum's American Museum. Mr. Barnum acquired this mermaid from his friend Moses Kimball, and the two of them worked together to concoct the story of the Fiji mermaid. Mr. Barnum's mermaid was similar in appearance to Mr. Leyland's. In fact, Mr. Barnum described her as an ugly, dried up, black looking, diminutive specimen. However, in his advertising, he used images of beautiful mermaids with long flowing locks and rather shapely bodies. Can you imagine how disappointed people visiting his museum must have been to expect to see this and what they got was the Fiji mermaid? <laughs> I imagine they were probably a little disappointed. <clears throat> No one knows what became of Mr. Barnum's mermaid. Some people believe she was destroyed in a fire, while other people claim that they possess her. Yeah, that means that other people, other museums, other collections have mermaids. So it's not just Mr. Barnum and Mr. Leyland that have them. There are bunches of them everywhere. Where are they all coming from? Surely there's not mermaids living somewhere, swimming about, being caught, and then mummified and sold to tourists. Do you think? Well, unfortunately, no, she's not a real mermaid. In fact, most of these mermaids were created by using the head and torso of a small monkey and then connecting it with some rather creative paper mache or woodwork to the tail of a fish. While she might be called a hoax or a fake, one thing's for certain. Mr. Lakeland brought home a piece of Java with him to share with the people of Cleburne, and he truly made her a part of our world. 